Hi everyone, this is Gavin from Gavin's Gadgets. Hope you guys are keeping well. And today I'm going to review the Burson Audio Playmate 2 headphone amp DAC preamp. And this is a beautiful piece of kit. So let's take a look what you get in the box. So this is the box for the Burson Audio accessories and power. I've already, depending on which country you are, I did get a UK part for this, and it's already plugged in, and it shows you how you do that. Very, very simple. You have this very thick piece of padding. There was some wrap around this. I've just re-boxed this up. I'll come back to that in a second. And in here you have, when you're doing some of the op-amp stuff, you have some of the accessories it also gets a certificate of LVD compliance. So here we have the unit itself, and I'm gonna turn this on in a second, but um, if, you had, if you had the remote, that's just the uh, sensor, LED sensor for it. Here you've got two 6.3 and 3.5. This is the TRRS, so you can use a mic, which if you're gaming, that's pretty cool on off button, menu button, volume and control. The back power cable, which is power lead, which is provided goes in here. You have RCA outputs. You have a optical style uh, input. And look at this, USB-C. Isn't that fantastic? USB-C. Right, let's power this on. So here we have the uh, unit powered on and very simple, you can turn the volume up and it is a very fine sort of volume control, no sudden leaps. Here you can run through the different digital options and so for example, if you push in, you can then turn that headphone out as a pre-out, you've got options there, actually let's put that back to headphone. You can alter the inputs, the toss link and the USB. So you've got the options there. You've got high or low impedance, depending on the headphones. This is so powerful that I would always start on low. You've got, just, you've got the various filters. If I run through those, you can see the different filter options. Again, worth, having a go at them. I quite like the default one. And you've got a few other options. I'll leave up uh, on screen what each of these different things do so you can understand. And then when you're finished, you can actually just hit the menu button and go back. It's really that straightforward. This is the standby button. You can see there's a little blue LED. So you can control this by the beautiful remote, which is finished in the same style today this is the first time i've looked at bursting audio gear and i've got to say when i actually flipped the box and took the unit out i was really amazed uh, it's absolutely beautiful if you take a look at this this is it's just it's just beautiful from every angle the engineering on this is absolutely fantastic it looks a million dollars it really does um and i love how everything works i love the fact it has USB-C. I love the fact that literally there are screws here, 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 and the same on the front. And then you can literally lift the, this part off, the top off and the sides come off as one piece. And you can get to those op amps and they are upgradable. Now you can actually, if you, when you buy this, one of the options is to have better quality op amps from Burson, of course, and but they supply them with the ones that are in this one and then you take off these screws and you've got the um, you saw the allen key to be able to do that is provided you lift off the op amps and you literally just push down the new ones it is so simple to do i can't stress how easy it is to upgrade a device so you can start with a budget and then you can actually put a whole range of different op amps in as per the instructions the guide that's on their website but as i said this is 
absolutely beautiful, as I'm sure you can see. What sort of specification? Well, first of all, is output. This can drive practically any type of headphone. These were the audio tracks that I used. Um, the device is puts out three watts of power, class A power, and you have really fine controls. You have also the ability to put, as I said, the mic in, have a mic input via the 3.5 input. Absolutely superb. It uses uh, Sabre ESS 9038 Q2, Q2M DAC. So very good, very good DAC. But it is that Class A power. And that's three watts, Class A at three watts per channel. You also have, um, in terms of the volume control, I've noticed how fine each option is. And there's 100 steps and you have two lots of 100 steps, depending on whether you're in high or low gain. I do recommend trying in low first on a lot of headphones. I think you'll be quite surprised. It also has, um, in terms of the power supply, an MCPS, which charges the Playmate 2 at 170,000 times per second, which enhances the power dynamics and overall presentation of the music. I've obviously shown you, when I've shown the device, the different menu options. So it's it looks beautiful, but behind it is a very high piece of technical engineering. So what does it sound like? Well, so these were the audio tracks that I used. These are the Hi-Fi Man Aria Stealth Edition headphones. These are Planar Magnetic. And when you're connecting these, these just suddenly just come alive. So when you first turn this on and you connect whatever device you want to connect into it, whether using USB-C or the Toslink connection, Give it, say, a couple of minutes to warm up. I noticed that after, say, 15 to 20 minutes, this Playmate 2 absolutely just mesmerising the micro dynamics it was pulling out in the music. Really, really impressive. And planet magnetics like these, having all that energy and power, these things scaled beautifully and you were hearing stuff on the tracks that I hadn't heard before. So very, very impressive. So it was enhancing the bass. It was a bit more a good quality bass, making vocals with more realism. So when I was listening to some of those tracks there and many more, you just began to feel how engaging the music was. You know, you can have loads and loads of specs, and I strongly believe this, and you can have all sorts of measurements on a chart, but ultimately, when you put the headphones on or when you listen to that music, does it do something for you? Listening to music is about feeling the emotions, feeling and getting and enjoying it. You know, it could be a very uh, hard rock, you know, piece of uh, band playing with, with their guitars, and you're just rocking away without realising it. It could be a melancholy um, opera or a bit of choir, um, a choral music, or it could be some house, dance, whatever. It's absolutely fantastic on this device. So I'll come back to what we more about the sound quality when I talk about the next pair of headphones. So these are the Bayer Dynamic DT700 Pro X, they're fairly newish. Um, and these are closed back, the uh, Hi-Fi Man Aries were open back. So what do these sound like? Well these obviously have, definitely want to keep the Playmate 2 in low gain. In terms of power, literally no problem at all. These come alive very, very quickly at the low end of the volume gauge. But my word, can you crank up the power on these if you want and the volume. But, don't recommend listening to music too loud guys. In terms of dynamics, again, the Playmate 2 just has this ability. You've got the Sabre DAC, which I find quite clinical. But when you put Class A power, it allows that detail to shine through in a non-analytical way. So again, whether you're using the Hi-Fi Man Arias, these um, Bear Dynamic headphones, or I have some Sennheiser HD600s, or my Shure 1540s, Whatever type of headphone, or even some IEMs from Theo, whatever you're listening to, what you get is this very musical, musical, engaging energy with the music. It lifts the sound stage, so you get a broad sound stage. 
you have very good bass. It's it pulls out the bass. It's not uh, bass enhanced, but if the music's got it, it portrays it and some. Absolutely fantastic. Um, vocals are you know people spoken voice, male or female, just are thoroughbred. Fantastic. I absolutely loved it. It's a beautiful sounding amp. They're absolutely beautiful. Also, um, the mids are on the money as well. So you've got this incredible range of uh, depth, breadth, size, scale, treble, mids. Everything is really beautiful and sings. I've tried all sorts of different genres and I kept listening to listen to more and more music. But I said the sweet spot is when it's been on for about 15 to 20 minutes and it's slightly warmed up. Does it get hot being class A? No. In my living environment, I could feel there was gentle warmth, but that's the beauty of this design. I don't know if you remember looking back at it and thinking how lovely that top was, that sort of perforated, not perforated, but that design of that uh, top. That's a bit of beautiful engineering and acts as a heat sink all the way, the sides and the top acts as a heat sink. So it dissipates the heat really, really well. I don't know what else you might want to know. I absolutely love it. This is my first uh, Burson Audio product that I've seen. For me, it ticks a lot of boxes. If I was to put this in a living room space where people would walk in and see it, it looks fantastic. It looks quality. And I think that's really important. It would fit anywhere, I think, in a living room, study, office, kitchen. But it won't, it would, it will be like a nice sort of centerpiece. If people look at it, they go, oh, that looks nice. But looks are one thing, but they've actually made the looks part of the, the, the actual design from a practical point of view. So the outer, the actual outer shell of it um, is the heatsink, decent power supply as well. So you've got that, so it powers the unit really well. And then it's upgradable with the op amps, very simply. And the last part, which I think is really important, it doesn't matter what pair of headphones I put with this, power them effortlessly, and they all sounded fantastic. Now, I am absolutely love it. If you've got any questions, happy to answer them. This is Gavin from Gavin's Gadgets. Take care, guys. Bye for now.